So in this video, I'm going to talk about the thing is not the thing. Let me explain. Many of you are, you know, maybe struggling with weight loss, maybe struggling with improving your health, maybe struggling with some knee pain or some back pain or some chronic shoulder pain. Well, look at the fact that when you're staring at the problem, whether it be pain or weight loss, that the problem usually is coming from something else. Right? For example, if your back is sore, instead of stretching your back because the back is, is painful, you might want to consider that maybe it's the stress level that you're under. Maybe it's the body positioning of your shoulder blades that's adding all this compression and tightening your spine and the muscles around your spine. So when you end up stretching your back while it feels good, you're really just addressing the symptoms and not the root cause. And let's apply this example to weight loss, right? Maybe you have some weight to lose, you're looking to improve your health, and maybe you're tracking calories, or you're you know, taking out sugar, or maybe you're getting on X diet. Now, while all those things are addressing calories and, and weight loss, consider how did you get there in the first place, right? Was it, how do you feel? What's your relationship with food, right? It, because if you were having this unhealthy relationship with food that led you to the weight gain in the first place, by manipulating food, right, by cutting calories and manipulating how much you're eating and what you're eating, that is really not addressing um, the root cause. Right? The root cause is your relationship with food. And so you can't manipulate already a, a faulty relationship with food. And so you want to consider how do you feel about food? What foods make you feel a certain way? You know, do you trust the foods that you eat? Do you trust yourself when you eat certain foods? Are you making decisions that nurtures your body? How do you feel about your body? Do you feel like you deserve to be healthy and happy and successful? Right, and so it's more of an emotional relationship than just, you know, cutting calories or, you know, getting on a diet, right? So that's why those things are not permanent. It's why no one ever goes on a diet and loses the weight and just keeps it off for the rest of your life. They feel like it's this constant struggle. Right? And so I encourage you to consider the whole, the thing is not the thing concept. It's probably one of the most powerful and empowering concepts that you can learn to look at what things are you looking at that you want to change. And instead of looking at it, look at what are some other variables that led to that and work on those. Because that thing is really not this thing because that thing is really the cause and this thing is the other thing. Hope that made sense. And so I hope you found that very helpful and I want you to in, in sort of be empowered and apply that to your life to make changes because that's our passion here at Body Solutions. It's my life purpose to help people empower themselves and to make change.